my role as speaker, as is true of my work in the chamber more widely when chairing debates, is not to take sides, not to be on one side or the other, not in other words to be a player, but to serve as the referee of the match. Everybody wants to get the attention of the speaker, or whoever's in the chair, you know, whether it's the deputy or whether it's the speaker themselves, and people, to get noticed, stand up. It's very much in, for the chair to choose to who to call. Members will stand up each time someone sits down. And I'm looking around to see who's standing up, and I then have to decide who to call. How do I decide? Well, I go back and forth from one side to the other, so there's a mix between government and opposition. I'm looking to call members of parliament from different intakes, not just from people who came in 40 years ago, but from people who came in two years ago. I'm looking to get a geographical spread. And to some extent, I'm looking to call people expressing a range of different views. The speaker and the people in the chair are referred to as, as Mr. Speaker or Madam Deputy Speaker, Mr. Deputy Speaker. There's very little use of individual surnames. That's because only the speaker will call a member by name. Other members will refer to people on their benches as my honourable friend or the honourable member for the constituency. Does my uh, right honourable friend suppose? And for members opposite, normally as the honourable lady or gentleman or again the, my constituency. Votes in Parliament are often referred to as divisions. At the end of a debate, typically, the Speaker will say, the question is as on the order paper. As many as are that opinion say, I, and people will yell, I. Of the contrary, no, and very often members will yell, no. And at that point, the Speaker in the chair says, division, clear the lobbies. Voting's really exciting, um, and First of all, you have the division bell ringing, um, and you have that all around the parliamentary estate. Uh, so wherever you are in Parliament, you hear the division bell going, and you have eight minutes to when the doors are shut. Um, so the doorkeepers who keep the doors open, um, after the eight minutes have finished, shout, lock the doors, and then if you're not, if you haven't made it, um, you've missed the vote. We divide, and you're either in support of, the, of whatever the issue happens to be, so you go into the, the I lobby, or you're against, so you're going to the no lobby, and that's how we divide, and we physically divide, by the way, i.e. we walk through uh, the division lobbies and have our names uh, uh, noted off a, a big list of paper of all the MPs. Uh, at first, when I came to Parliament, I thought, you know, this, this is a cumbersome and clunky way of doing things, but actually now, after being here for two years, I find it an incredibly useful way for being able to get hold of a minister, because if I have a particular issue that I would like to raise with that minister, that my constituents are concerned about as a backbencher, it's one of the useful, less formal tools. <laughs>